Hello, hello. My name is Frank Inia, and I'm a singer, guitarist, songwriter from New York. And I was asked to do a short bio on myself and talk about a few projects. One of them is BER, and the other is Frank and Ian, the Crooked Hearts. And I hope you guys enjoy. My career started out in the 1980s when I, along with my brother, we uh, had our own little recording studio out of our house and uh, we started playing in our own original band. Which was something we always aspired to doing, even as 13-year-olds, and consisted of friends and relatives that lived in the area. And uh, my oldest brother would expose us to music such as like the Rolling Stones and British rock bands and pop music, and that's what really influenced us. Then eventually I ended up playing with other session musicians or playing on other people's records, which was a great learning experience for me. And I later uh, opened up my own studio in Westchester County, New York, called Satellite Music Studios. Here is where I've pretty much launched my projects. In the 1990s, I started writing a lot of music. At that time, I, we were playing a lot. This is the Frank and Nia band. Actually, we were called Fade to Black at first. And then we were playing in a lot of clubs in New York City. We got the attention of some major labels. One of them was Atlantic, and uh, I was recording a full album for them called Makeshift Days. Yeah, so after Makeshift Days, we shuffled a couple of members around and in 2006, and ever since, I've locked into uh, this band called Frankenia and the Crooked Hearts, and originally called Frankenia Band, which consists of Martin Stroh on drums, Alex V on bass, and Brian Newsholm on keyboards. And we've been together for a bunch of years and pretty tight friends and we're like family and that's such an awesome way to be in the band I think. In 2010 we released a record called Morning Show which was on a record label called ACM Records which also was a publisher and a library that I did a lot of writing for and shortly after that we just started playing a lot of gigs which has been a lot of fun for us especially opening for national acts. So in 2018, we released an album called Sunshine In My Head. And just recently, in 2020, we put out a record called Melting Pop. And uh, on that, we had a song called Walk the World that got placed on a national television ad uh, for the Kane 11 Apparel Company. I'm sure most of you want to hear about The Night Begins to Shine and BER and Teen Titans going how, how that all started. So. Um, in the early 2000s, uh, I put an ad out on Craigslist looking uh, to rent out one of my rooms in my studio. And fate be it, uh, Carl Burnett answers the ad, and who was also a writer for a music library. He said, hey, do you have a song that sounds like a 1980s Duran Duran type song? 
And I did. I gave him The Night Begins to Shine, which was a song I wrote around 1985, which I actually played with one of my older bands. And in the early 2000s, I refreshed the lyrics to The Night Begins to Shine by borrowing lyrics from a song that I was working on. And this, that song was called The Story in Your Eyes, and then I changed it to The Night Begins to Shine. So I gave it to Carl and he put it in the, uh, in the washing machine in the spin and rinse cycle and put Billy on it and who he knew. I never met Billy, I met Billy later on. And it was picked by a Teen Titans Go producer years after he submitted it. And then um, that's when BER was born and that's the, the awesome producers at the show, uh, Peggy Regan and Peter Michael and Michael Jelinek, they uh, created the band. We became cartoon characters in the show as well. So what else could you ask for? Yeah, and then The Night Begins to Shine Part One was released. It was an hour special of four episodes. That was a year after 404020, and it featured the members of BER and uh, featured uh, new songs like Forever, which was written in the same fashion as The Night Begins to Shine and also was uh, Rise Up in there and versions of The Night Begins to Shine by Fall Out Boy and CeeLo Green. Just recently in 2020, uh, we had uh, The Night Begins to Shine Part 2, which featured BER again, this time as superhero alter ego characters, and which I am a bird, and some new mixes of The Night Begins to Shine, and new material, and legendary actor Malcolm McDowell. So anyway, I must say it's been an incredible experience for me to, to be part of uh, Teen Titans Go! and the Warner Brothers family, and especially because of Bugs Bunny and all the Looney Tune characters, which I grew up on and I really do love and I still watch to this day, don't tell anybody. And um, also, um, check out our websites. Uh, you can check out my band, frankandeaband.com. Check out berofficial.com. Check out the individual guys in BR. They have their own bands as well. So stop in to my Facebook page and say hello. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.